Do you want to see what the super boom is about? Do you wonder if it's worth the full admission to see it? Today I will share my experience of my visit to Super Boom to help you decide if you should go too. Coming up next. Hi, it's Ken and welcome to my channel, Ken Travels 360. You may have watched my previous vlog where I look at the Super Boom from the free public viewing path and wonder if it's worth paying the admission to come in. In case you don't know, the Super Boom at Tower of London is the first stage of installing a natural landscape in the moat in the heart of the city of London. The moat has been planted with 20 million seeds, which has now become a beautiful meadow with lots of wildflowers to commemorate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. There are two different types of tickets you can get. The first one is the Super Boom and Tower of London combined tickets, which cost £36.50 and the Super Boom only ticket for just £12. There are different prices for kids, seniors and families too. If you live in our Hamlets, like I do, there is a special ticket you can get for just £1 that will get you into both Super Boom and the Tower of London. I will talk about that later. So, if you got a combined ticket to see both the Tower of London and Super Bloom, they recommend you to see uh, Super Bloom first because when you finish, you will end up uh, right by the entrance of Tower of London. I've got a combined ticket, so I'm ready to check out both Tower of London and Super Bloom. So, let's start Super Bloom. So, as we prepare to go down the moat of Tower of London, you can see the famous uh, lion statues behind me. So, having done the security check, we are ready to get in. So, Super Boom is to the left. We'll do this first. The first thing you notice when you get down to the moat is actually the intense scents from the flowers. I feel like I have been transported to a wildflower meadow in Somerset on any other rural English countryside. I immediately realized this is not something you could experience from the public viewing path. The flowers are just too far away from you and you wouldn't be able to smell them. So this is where the slice. Unfortunately, it's closed today. It's closed whenever it's raining or if it's too hot. When I look at the west side of the moat from the public viewing path, it looked like there were not that many flowers blooming. What I didn't realize was that the view down here is quite different. There are actually lots of flowers, lots of colors, but somehow from the public viewing path, you can't really appreciate it. I think at different areas, they have very similar flowers. So the pattern of colors is uh, very similar in the same area, which of course makes a lot of sense. Of course, the point of uh, the super bloom is that at different times, different flowers will bloom. So what you can see will depends on when you visit here. Now that I've got a map, I can tell you this beautiful uh, orange color is called Namaqualand Daisy. These beautiful yellow flowers, I believe they are pot marigold. These uh, purple plants which have not flowered yet, I think it's called Sweet William Catchfly. When they flower, it will be really beautiful. There are not that many around, but I've just spotted the uh, California poppy. This is so amazing. The colors are so vivid. It has been half an hour now, and I still haven't even uh, turned around the corner to see uh, the prettiest side uh, of Super Bloom. It has been amazing already. Amazing display. 
Normally, for photography, I would prefer to go to attractions、uh, during earlier morning or later in the afternoon when the light is much softer. However,、um, you are walking around the whole town of London, and you really need sunlight to see the flowers、uh, properly. So actually, midday and early afternoon is probably the best time to come here. You will see all the flowers nicely lit. So as we turn the corner、um, here, we now start to see another type of flower. They're equally beautiful. Look at the bee visiting the flower. We've now got to the east side of the moat, and you can see the tower bridge in the background. The landscaping is really amazing here, and the flowers are now quite different from those on the west side. Apart from flowers, there are some interesting sculptures around too. This willow sculpture on the east side of the moat is a series of copper insects flying around. I know what you might be thinking. You are thinking, Ken, this is just a, a flower show. How can a flower show be、uh, that interesting? Well, believe me, and hopefully, from the videos that you have seen and、uh, the pictures, that you agree that this is such an amazing、uh, experience. I have never seen anything like this. So now we go back up to the ramp, but even after you have exited, there is still one more thing to see. This one, everyone can see it without paying admission. So there is one more art installation which you can see. It is the Queen's Garden, located in the Bowling Green. This installation was inspired by the Queen's Coronation Garden. You can see twelve glass forms here. They represent the national emblems of the UK and some Commonwealth countries. Overall, what do I think of the Super Bloom? Initially, I was a bit skeptical and I was not sure whether it was worth visiting. Having experienced it, I have to say I am totally wowed by it, guys. Being able to walk around the moat of Tower of London in a beautiful environment with millions of flowers around it, 
visually and olfactorily, you are going to be absolutely stunned by the whole experience. So I definitely uh, recommend visiting it. In fact, I plan to come back here at least once every month while it's open. I will hopefully try the slides next time and I will most likely see other flowers bloom. If you want to follow how the color of flowers in Superbloom evolves over the next couple of months, please subscribe to my channel as I will be making update videos when I revisit. Thanks for watching till this point. Clearly you are interested in going to Superbloom, so I will conclude with some tips for you. Superbloom is open till 18 September 2022, so you have plenty of time to plan your visit. And if you decide to visit it, particularly the weekends, I will strongly advise you to book your ticket online. Finally, if you are a Tower Hamlet resident, take your library card and a proof of name and address, such as a bank statement, then you can enjoy both the Tower of London and Superboom for just one pound. You can only buy this at the ticket office though, so do go early on the day if you are going down this route. I'll put all the URLs for all this info in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. This will alert you to new videos from me. As I mentioned before, I will be making new video on Super Bloom throughout summer when different flowers bloom. I also ran out of time in this video for my Tower of London visit, so I will be covering that in a future video soon. For now, I will leave you with some still photos of flowers that I have taken earlier. Thanks for watching. See you next time.